Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Digging Deeper. Today, we're talking about five mistakes to avoid when installing a greenhouse. Okay, so first things first, we're at the old mill, my new farm project, and we just completed the installation of a brand new greenhouse. It's a 35 foot by 125 foot long Ovaltec uh, freestanding greenhouse from Arnois. Uh, Arnois is the company that I like to work with. A lot of my greenhouses and my different projects are from Arnois. Uh, they're the leading manufacturer in North America for greenhouse uh, pro products and Every time I buy a greenhouse from Arnois, the flow is good, the instruction manuals are great, and they're just amazing greenhouses. So, because we just went through the motion of it all, uh, it was really easy for me to pick up some of the common mistakes that we make when installing the greenhouses. So the first mistake that a lot of growers make is to avoid proper site preparation. So the greenhouse is a big investment, and it's gonna be there for a long period of time. So it needs to be correctly positioned with regards to everything else on the farm. There should be a master plan that tells you this is the, the right place for the greenhouse to be, that's one. But most importantly, uh, the soil needs to be prepared first, rocks should be taken out, uh, the site of the greenhouse should be raised, and it should be leveled. And so that will maintain a really good uh, rigidity to the structure of the greenhouse. It's gonna be parallel. So there's a site preparation that needs to be done, which in, depending on the size of your greenhouse, might require an excavator to come in and do part of the job. Mistake number two, and it's, it's one that's really common, is to not be properly prepared for delivery of the greenhouse. And so there's a lot of things that can go wrong at the delivery. Uh, first of all, you need to make sure that you have an access road so that you know the truck, the delivery truck, can be as close as possible to where the greenhouse will be installed. It shouldn't be muddy, and you know the delivery truck should be able to move around as close as possible. So here, for example, we thought that the ground was solid, but it wasn't. So the truck got stuck, and it was $700 to tow it out of the mud. So this is an extra expenditure that definitely could have been avoided then unloading everything from the delivery truck is another part of the project. If you don't have a lift or a tractor, you definitely want to make sure that you have a lot of people that day that can help. Uh, if you're only counting on the driver of the delivery truck to help you, uh, you might be in for a surprise. He might end up just leaving the project if there's no one there to un, you know, unpack the greenhouse. So that's something that you carefully need to, to prepare. Mistake number three is not inspecting or organizing the greenhouse parts. And so you'll get a packaging slip with the greenhouse. You wanna make sure that there's no parts missing. That's really, really important because it does happen. And when you're doing the work of installing the greenhouse, it won't be the time to order the missing part. It could create a lot of layovers that are definitely not what you want. Then making sure that everything is properly laid out is important. Some parts will be laid on the ground, but you should also have a table so that you'll put all your nuts and bolts, have all your material lined up, anything that can be damaged by the weather, uh, make sure that it's covered, your furnaces, whatever. Again, taking the time to fully assess and organize uh, all the pieces of the greenhouse will save you a lot of time later on. So the fourth mistake, and it's a biggie, is not having the right tools for the job. Installing a greenhouse correctly will require some, some tools that are different from perhaps your regular tools uh, in your tool shed, and you wanna be prepared. So some of the tools that you'll want for sure are namely saw horses to not work on the ground and having everything raised while you're working, mounting the arches, for example. Sledgehammers or even a jackhammer to properly install the rods, the anchoring rods uh, into the ground. Impact drills are a must, having a tool belt also to carry those. Having more than one impact drills, if there's more than one people installing, this saves a lot of time. Levels and plumb are your best friends. You'll need to, 
to have them and you'll need to know how to use them correctly. Some growers swear by having forklifts to do the installation. I think that you can go around that with good ladders, but make sure that you have quality ones and make sure that they're heavy and properly secured when using the ladders. Measuring tape, water, and an angle grinder to cut the metal. You'll have to cut metal, uh, proper eye protection glasses. All of these are tools that you're gonna need when installing your greenhouse. Mistake number five, that's the biggest mistake, and it's the most common one, is to install the plastic on a windy day. This is the perfect scenario to either rip it or have it not tight enough or have it be a complete disaster. And I've probably built and installed 10 to 12 greenhouse in my farming career. And I know from experience that when growers are excited, they have the whole crew, everything's prepared. And if there's more than five uh, miles per hour winds, you shouldn't go ahead, even if you have everything ready. Wait for a calm day to do it. It's gonna save you a lot of stress. It's gonna save you perhaps a replacement of those expensive plastics. And so, don't put your plastics if it's too windy. It's not worth it. Wait for another day and you're better off that way. So all in all, these are some of the most common mistakes that you can make when installing a greenhouse. The best strategy, if you wanna make sure that you're doing this the right way, again, is to follow a really good guideline or an instruction video about how to do this the proper way, like the pros would do it. Uh, we have a video like that with the Market Gardener Institute. You can check it out. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope everything's growing well where you are. I'm, I'm having a blast. I'm really excited about this new greenhouse and I'm gonna be looking forward to showing you what we grow inside, especially in the winter months. This is it for this week. JM out. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. <music>